Capitol first now this morning. The Denver City Council last night moved to get back together with two companies that operate halfway houses in the city. The council agreed to new contracts with those companies after cutting ties with them in a surprise move earlier this month. That was set to lead to the closings of the halfway houses and the return potentially of convicts there to prison. Now, this new deal means contracts worth about $8.7 million, funded in part by the state. They will be, though, short term while the city looks for other options. Core Civic and GEO run six facilities, and the council also heard a proposal to oversee a new contract. What we will do from the Department of Safety standpoint is stand up a 13-member committee um, that will be responsible to sort of look at the options that we have available. We're going to have to work closely with <coughs> land use and zoning. We're going to have to look at how community corrections impacts victims, how it impacts families, how it impacts individuals. Several council members wanted to move away from those private companies because they're associated with the running of immigrant, immigrant detention facilities, including GEO's facility in Aurora.